friends, and welcome to my new restaurant. I'm gonna call it Luca's Kitchen. Wait, no. Maybe I should call it mm -mm, Delicious. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so maybe it's not a real restaurant. I'm just pretending. I love to play restaurant. Do you? It's so fun. Do I have what I need to open my restaurant? Oh, I have a venue. I have an apron. And I have a table. And I have all kinds of food. I think I'm ready. Hey, can I take your order? On the count of three, tell me what you love to eat. One, two, three. Wow, that's a lot of great orders. Coming right up. Who? Who? Hey, it's Ollie. Hello, Luca. Who? Who? It appears as though you have a lot of great food. Yeah, Ollie. I'm pretending to have my own restaurant and cook lots of good food. Restaurants are fun. It's true. And I know who made all the food. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through who? I've got a Bible story for me and you. Okay, go fetch Stormy Jane. <laughs> Oh, hi friends, I'm Carrie. Today, I'm playing fetch with my best dog, Stormy Jane. <laughs> Whoa, Stormy Jane, that's not your toy, that's your food bowl. What do you think Stormy Jane wants? Oh, food, I think you're right. She must be hungry. Are you hungry, Stormy Jane? <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. Hey, that reminds me of a story about a man who was hungry. Let me give Stormy a snack and I'll tell it to you. Here you go. The true story from the Bible begins with a man named Elijah who was hungry and wanted some food. There was no food or water anywhere. God told Elijah to go to a woman that God had chosen and she would give him food. So Elijah went to find her. Tell me if you see the woman. Do you see her? There she is. That's the woman God said to ask. So Elijah went up to her and said, Can I have a drink of water, please, and a piece of bread? I am very hungry. I'm so sorry, she said. I don't have any bread. I only have a little oil and a little flour. I'm picking up sticks so I can make one more meal for me and my son. After that, we won't have any food left. Don't worry, Elijah said. God will help you and give you all the flour and oil you need. So the woman went home and she used the flour and oil she had to make bread for Elijah. There's the oil and there's the flour. Now she needs to mix the dough together. Can everyone help? Let's mix, 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 mix. Now let's knead the dough, ready? Knead, knead, knead. Good job, little bakers, you can stop now. The bread is ready to go in the oven. When the bread was ready, the woman gave the bread to Elijah and he ate it. Wow, God is good. Say it with me, who is good? God is good. Then the woman went back to make more bread for her and her son. And guess what? God provided more oil and flour just like he said he would. <laughs> wow, God is good. Say it with me, who is good? God is good. Every time the woman, her son, and Elijah needed food to eat, God gave more oil and flour to make bread. Elijah, the woman, and her son were very thankful for the food God gave them. And we can remember to be thankful for our food, whether it's donut day, noodle day, or taco Tuesday. When we look around and see food, we can say, God is good. Say it with me. God is good. Hi, Ollie. Ollie, tell me who is good. God is good. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me who is good. God is good. 
That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Bye. So there's your story, and it's all true. God is the one who makes food for you. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow, isn't it cool to know that whatever we eat each day, we can thank God for our food. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! Now it's time for dessert at my restaurant. And I have the perfect thing. A donut. Mm, I'm so thankful for donuts. See you next time. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. Psalm 107.1 Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. Psalm 107.1